me up. She describes them as cubistic expressions with simplicity of style and form. Ahead, artist Vanessa Mejia is here to showcase her creations. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, she was born in Colombia, but in 1997, she relocated here to California, and she went to San Diego State, where she studied child and family development and fine arts, and she's now working on her master's degree. She is artist Vanessa Mejia, and she's here to talk about how her studies relate to art and also to show us some of her fabulous artwork. Vanessa, thank you so much for joining us this morning. As we show uh, viewers at home, your, your work. Tell us a little bit, if you will, about your inspiration. My inspiration, basically my inspiration is color itself. Color uh, transmits emotions, it transmi transmits a message to everyone. And I, cho I choose bright colors because it represents my culture, my Latino culture. Uh -huh. And Latinos were very passionate, were very happy people. So this is why I choose bright colors. As you can see, most of my paintings have a lot of um, bright yellows, reds, oranges. Okay, so I know you say you do not concentrate on the object. You emphasize intensity and contrast. Intensity, contrast, depth. That's what I really um, focus on. Um, some of my pieces are abstract, and some of them have a meaning behind them. Really? Which one has a meaning behind them? For instance, this one right okay. here is called Magical World. And basically what I'm trying to say is that no matter how old we are, we still have a child in us. Right. Uh, we still have a fantasy world Right. Us, and that's what I'm trying to demonstrate with this painting. We can see the, for example, the mountains are orange and the um, roofs, we can see them red, we can see things however we want to see them. So we really find our own interpretation. And, and it's important to be in touch with your inner child. Tell us a little bit, if you will, I know that you have worked with um, those who have, have disabilities, children yes. who have disabilities, and also those who have suffered brain injuries, mm -hmm. with your art. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that works. Okay. Uh, well, basically, I was doing um, art therapy with people, adults, who have a traumatic brain injury uh, in Escondido, and basically, I'm helping them use art to communicate their emotions, their thoughts, their feelings um, through shapes, colors, symbols. So basically, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm trying to help them to communicate, to help them to right. communicate something that they cannot express verbally through art. So art can be very therapeutic for them. Exactly. Okay. Where can people find your art? Um, at Hacienda de Isa Galleria. Huh? Hacienda de Isa <laughs> Galleria in Miramar Road. Okay. And, on Miramar uh, Road. Okay. The address will be on, on, on my website. website. On right. your website. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite one here? Actually, each piece is very unique. They're okay. all. My favorite one. Anyone so. here that represents your inner child? My inner child? This one right here. This one right here. This, this one. Me. The magical, what you call it again? Magical world. Magical world. <laughs> Which is Beautiful. a lot of times the world I live in. The <laughs> so magical world. The magical world. Sounds like a cool place yeah. to be. Yes, it is. Thank you, Vanessa, very much for being with us this morning. Vanessa Mejia. Thank you, Appreciate Rose. your being here. It's beautiful, beautiful work. And for more information, you can log on to our website, NBCSanDiego.com, and click on Learn More. You can learn more about Vanessa's artwork and where to find it. And with that, Stephen, we will toss it back to you.